Hello everyone, we are back again with another online course called Aluminium Extrusion Process. During this online course, which will probably take something around 5 hours of your time on an advanced level, you will start learning by the uh, overview of the entire process of aluminium extrusion and uh, we will step go through the multiple stages that are involved in the entire aluminium extrusion uh, until it's being delivered um, to the client so it's a highly automated process uh, you will see more robots than human in an aluminium extrusion f um, plant uh, it starts by having aluminium logs these are like each log weigh around one ton and they're coming in bundles bundles of three bundles of four bundles of five so there will be a forklift driver delivering these logs onto a something called log ramp when um, the logs aluminium logs that are coming from aluminium smelters so in Australia we have uh, I guess something around five to six aluminium smelters where bauxite um, so after some sort of refinery being melted down and becomes an aluminium log aluminium log goes through a machine that is called press this press heats up the aluminium log and um, becomes soft so, and what's it called press is actually a hydraulic jack that pushes this one ton of log through a die it's something like a template um, if you've seen the noodle or spaghetti rolls that are coming out of a die it's not a die for spaghettis but um, in the construction and aluminium extrusion um, context it's called die it's a template that forms the uh, profile this profile is customized by the client and determined by where it's going to be used if it's going to be used as a um, window frame if it's going to be used as a um, structural frame in other sorts of in industries um, this die is being designed based on that um, so it's coming out like a spaghetti after it's being um, heated and passes through the die and uh, from there uh, you'll see something like um, a long profile of aluminium something between 40 meters to 60 or 80 meters uh, goes through conveyor belts or before that depending on how thick the profile is um, you may decide to do some quenching. Quenching is the process that is called cooling down the um, the profile coming out of the die straight in order to avoid any bends and uh, other deformation, unwanted deformation, better to say. Um, from there, uh, you will decide to stretch. Um, the profile based on the thicknesses and other structural elements uh, once the extruded aluminium is being stretched it goes through the cutting process the cutting uh, process is also determined by the client how long they want their profile to be and then from there it goes through, uh, through an, an aging um, furnace so, uh, just bear that in mind that this whole process is all done automatically but um, just knowing the whole process will help you to understand if you're planning to build an extrusion um, a plant aluminium extrusion plant or just managing an extrusion plant you need to know um, how the whole process works after the aging furnace it goes through the um, packing area and the dispatch each one of those has some sort of robots that will help you to uh, minimize the labor intensive jobs that was been done like 100 200 years ago um, yeah so feel free to enroll in this um, informative and knowledgeful online course and let me know on Ferit Sartipi if you have any questions if you want to have a personal 
um, face to face online tutoring just buzz me up you know how to contact us it's all online through our website and uh, hope you will enjoy this online course hello everyone we are back again with another